lecture 40 multiple integral part 2 so take an example here here we have to evaluate the double integral over the sum bounded region which is a triangle here which is a x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and x plus y equal to 1 so we have to evaluate that integral over that region so you have to here you have to understand the limit of integration because the limit of integration is not given and we have to evaluate that integral in the particular region so first we plot the region and here you understand the concept of how to take the limit so when we plot these lines x equal to 0 that is y axis that's line y equal to 0 that's line and x plus y is equal to 1 when we plot that line that's all we can write y is equal to 1 minus x so the region which is bounded that's the region we have to evaluate that particular integral in that region so here you have to understand the concept of uh, the limit and we can say the order of integration so the region of the integration is what is in triangle we can say o this can say a and this is b and easily you find the point a and b by the help of that equation now you have to evaluate the integration so first we put the limits so here we take the strip along the y-axis so we can say y varies 0 to 1 minus x we can say y varies 0 to 1 minus x and x varies 0 to 1 so the limit of integration is 0 to 1 0 to 1 minus x integration e raised to power 2x plus 3y dy dx so first we take the integration with respect to y because the limit of integration of y in the terms of function was 0 to 1 minus x in the term of x and the limit of x is 0 to 1 that is constant so we take the integration so we get 0 to 1 1 by 3 e raised to power 2x plus 3y when we take that integration with respect to y treating x is a constant dx now apply the limit 0 to 1 minus x and on simplify we get 0 to 1 e raised to power 3 minus x minus e raised to power 2x dx now take the integration with respect to x here so you get 1 that's 1 by 3 is also there 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus e raised to power 3 minus x minus 1 by 2 e raised to power 2x apply the limit 0 to 1 so we get 1 by 3 minus e raised to power minus 2 1 by 2 e raised to power 2 and plus e raised to power 3 and plus 1 by 2 e raised to power 0 is 1 on simplify we get 1 by 6 e minus 1 whole square and 2e plus 1 on simplify we get this so in that case we are taking the strip along the y-axis and if we, we wish to want to take a strip along the x-axis so in that case x varies 0 to we can say x varies 0 to 1 minus y and y varies what 0 to 0 to 1 so you can also take this limit this depend the order of integration so in that case you take the integration first with respect to x then y so one more example we have to evaluate the double integration 
y dx dy over the region is bounded by two parabolas y square equal to 4x and x square is equal to so first we plot this parabola so here that's a equation of x square is equal to 4y and that's a parabola y square equal to 4x so this is an intersecting point and easily you can get the intersecting point on solving this equation so first simultaneously we solve the equation y square equal to 4x and x square equal to 4y so on solving you get x is equal to if we put x is equal to 2 root y so we get equation x is equal to 0 and x equal to 4 so here x varies 0 to 4 that's a point 4 and similarly y also we can say 0 to 4 and that's an intersecting point 4 and 4 so here x varies we can say if we are taking this strip along the y axis so y varies that equation that is 2 root x and up to the, the equation of this so in that case sorry that's an sorry that's a uh, y varies that's the equation so we can say y is equal to x right x is square by 4 the equation of that curve and the equation of this curve the term of x is root 4x so we can say x varies 0 to 4 and y varies x square by 4 up to root 4x so now take the integration we take the limit 0 to 4 x square by 4 up to root 4x y t by tx so here first we take the integration with respect to y and then x so what we get we get the integration 0 to 4 1 by 2 y square x square by 4 root 4x tx on solving this we get 1 by 2 integration 0 to 4 4x minus x power 4 by 16 tx now we take the integration with respect to x so we get 1 by 2 and we get a limit 2x square on integration we get x power 5 upon 80 apply the limit 0 to 4 and on applying the limit we get 48 by 5 so in that way we can easily evaluate the integration and if similarly you can take the limit uh, integration you take the strip along the y-axis if you are taking the strip along the y-axis so the limit of y is 0 to 4 and x varies root 4y up to y square by 4 so in that way you also evaluate that integration over that region one more example evaluate the double integration the value of x plus y whole square dx dy over the region which is bounded by an ellipse so here you see the ellipse that's the equation of ellipse and this is the that's the ellipse so if you are taking the strip along the y-axis or you can also take the strip along the x-axis so here we take the strip along the y-axis so here you see this strip is vary from that to this point and you know the this point is what minus a to a so here first you solve that for the y so we can write y square b square equal to 1 minus x square by a square and this implies that y is you can write y square by b or you write b square 1 minus x square a square or we can say y is equal to plus minus b root 1 minus x square upon a square so here uh, 
or we can also write b upon a if we take the consumer here b a square minus x square so we can say y x varies minus a to a and y varies minus b by a root a square minus x square up to b by a a square minus x square so these are the limit of integration if we are taking the integration along the y axis means first we take the integration with respect to y then x so minus a to a and minus b by a a square minus x square b by a a square minus x square x plus y whole square dy dx and when you evaluate that integral so we get in value pi by 4 a b a square plus b square you can easily solve that integration we just expand this x square plus y square plus 2xy so here yeah, this is an even function and that's an odd function so you use the property of integration even and odd and then apply the limits minus a to a and evaluate you get pi by 4 a b a square plus b square x square dx dy in the first quadrant bounded by the curve x y equal to 16 x equal to y the line y equal to 0 and the line x equal to 8 so if you plot that graph so suppose that's in x y is equal to 16 that's the line and this is the y equal to x line and this is what this is y equal to 0 and that is x is equal to Eight. so the region which is bounded by these lines or a curve is that's one so you have to evaluate the integration that integral in that particular region so here when you taking the limit of integration so first you have to divide that particular region in two parts so here this so we get the two regions here we say that's an O and we take this is A that's in B this is C and T so here because when you take the uh, strip here if you not divide that particular region in two parts so you cannot take a strip because when you take the strip here and that strip is expanding so after that that point it will be changed so you cannot get the region by taking the single strip either with respect to y or with respect to x so here first we divide that complete region in two parts so here we get two regions o a b that's in triangle and the second region is what b a b c t so the complete region is what O B T C is what the triangle O A B plus A B C T that's in region so here we have to find the limits in that region so when we take the region O A B and if we taking the a strip along the y-axis so we can say x varies from 0 to and you easily find that point that's an intersection point of this and this curve and we get that is 4 4 and that point the integration of the intersection of that line and that curve we get this is what 8 so that's an 8 and so we can say the for the first region the x varies 0 to that is that point is what 4 0 0 to 4 and in that region y varies 0 to that the equation of that line is x and when you take the region a b c d so we can say x varies now the x varies from that point to that point that is 4 to 8 and y varies here 
that is 0 to up to that curve so what is y here y is equal to you can write 16 by x so in that way you can easily evaluate that integral you take the you break that integral into regions that is double integration o a b plus double integration a b c t continue in the next lecture